Today, we were frog fishing this drain pond and we ended up catching some giant bass. Right when I think I'm about to have a blowout day of fishing, the rain starts. I was afraid the rain was going to hold me back, but little did I know, it was the start of a wild topwater adventure. I cannot believe what's happening with this pond, guys. After two years of not being here, I come up and it is completely drained. The water used to come all the way to here. And now it looks like there's barely any water in the pond. I don't know what that has done to the fish. You know, I don't know if a lot of them have died off, if there's even bass still in here. But we're going to try today. That is the plan. I got a pop and pickle on. So we're frog fishing today on my Kicking Their Bass TBX Loose Combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this drain pond and uh, do some frog fishing. Hopefully, uh, we'll end up getting some bites. I don't know what to expect. Right now, they should be bedding in this pond. But uh, like I said, I just don't know what to expect here. They could all be dead for all I know. This pond could, could have gone to trash. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. The water is very stained. It used to be slightly clear so you could kind of see everything. But now it's so stained that, I mean, you if, even if there's fish on the bank, you probably couldn't see them. Let's go ahead and get started. This used to be such a good frog pond. Breaks my heart. Like around this time of year, there used to be a ton of nice grass on the edge that you could just smoke them on a frog. I mean, you could just destroy them. And it's crazy to think that this was in the water at the time. I mean, look at all the little crevices and places the bass could pretty much hide out. It's pretty crazy. There is a juicy area. It's definitely this corner. We actually still have a lot of grass over there. Maybe we'll smack us a big one. Before we do that, we need to fish in this little corner. This stuff looks crazy, man. Ooh, look at that, look at that. I don't know if that was a bass, but something was right there. There we go, right up on that grass. Ooh, that looks good. I am beaming this frog. All right, well, we have yet to have a bite. We're gonna keep moving though. Look at that. Looks like somebody's been doing some fishing. Got some split shots and some, some bluegill hooks. Somebody's still fishing out here. All right, the idea is to go to the other side of the pond. I don't know if it'll be any better, but we're gonna sure. go check it out. Maybe this other side might have some fish kind of hurts my heart to know my dad got his pb out of here we've caught plenty of really big bass before and you come out here and it just looks like that that's kind of that's depressing man let's go check out this other side well this side isn't looking too much better now holy cow i did see a boil up there i don't know if that was a turtle if that was a fish there's got to be some fish in here still that are surviving don't get me wrong i definitely think some have died off just the caliber of big fish that are in here is crazy i'd be i'd be ooh. Did I just get hit? I think I did. I'm not really able to pop this frog howl one either because I'm on a weird angle. It's not like I'm level with the pond. Oh my gosh, let's go. I didn't even know we ate it. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, our first bass frog fishing in this drain pond. And it is a nice one, man. I am satisfied with how thick that fish is. I mean, he's not like he's super skinny. He's not fat by any means, but it's still a nice two and a half pounder, easy. <laughs> I've been paying attention to my frog this whole time. And the one time I wasn't looking at it, I got a bite. Maybe that's the strategy. <laughs> Oh, no, buddy. I was going to get you back. Hold on. Oh, boy. Don't you hate when you're just trying to get them safely back in the water and they do that? All right, buddy. I don't know the best way to release you. I might have to toss you because it is really shallow. Where well, there's our first frog fish. 
<laughs> there he goes. Boys, there's fish still in here. That is, that's a good little sign. I don't know if rinsing my hands off in this water is definitely the best thing, but. Well, there we go. We figured out our first question. Is there bass actually in here? And that obviously answers it right there. We got a pretty, pretty nice one too. Not a giant by any means, but that was a nice fish. It wasn't like it was no little one pounder or something. That guy had some meat on him. He was a, at least a two and a half there. And he ate it more off the bank. You know, it is super shallow. I, I mean, I'm assuming it's shallow throughout this whole pond. If anything, if I had to think, I mean, these fish are probably really hungry. So if you get it in front of them, they might not hesitate. All right, let's keep walking around. So back a few years ago when I used the frogfish this pond, this was all water and I would just cast in between these trees and it had its branches hanging down. And I would catch a lot of good bass right in this corner. Look at that tree. Holy cow. I don't know if I caught one right out of that tire. Oh, oh, dude, he just hit it. He literally came out of the tire, dude. Oh, no shot. Here we go, here we go, boys. This is it. Dude, come on, I know you're hungry. It's a big one. It's a big one out of the tire. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh, dude, it's a freaking monster. <laughs> we just caught a freaking giant out of the tire. No shot. No freaking way, boys. No freaking way. We got him to crush the pop and pickle out of that tire. Oh my gosh, he ate it so good. See, the first time he was a little iffy about it. And that second time, he just decided to clobber that puppy up, man. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish right there. About a four pounder, getting close to it. He's a little skinny on the lower end, but he's close to that four pound range. Thank you, buddy. See, these fish are looking a little skinny, I will say. That has to be the coolest buy of the year by far. He was cradled up in that tire, right on the edge of that tire. Unbelievable, man. Thank you for biting, buddy. I'm gonna give you a little toss. Man, we've only had two bites today, but they did not disappoint on either one. I know this is probably near impossible, but what? Just imagine if there's another one right up there with him. He ate that thing so subtle. He ate it just like a big one. Instead of coming up and just destroying it, he just slurped it right down, just... And that's all I ended up catching today. But I came back out two months later to try and catch some of these giants. We are back at this pond 60 days later and it is still drained. <laughs> the, the water that used to be up to here is still down to there, but the pond looks a lot different. If you can tell, there is actually grass that has grown around pretty much the whole side of the bank. And if you go over to this side of the pond and also that side in this corner, there's a lot of tall grass that has grown on the edge of the pond. So we're gonna go ahead and get back at it today. We have the pop and pickle still on and we're gonna see what we can do. The last time we came out here a few months ago, we ended up catching two really good bass on a frog. And uh, we're gonna see if we can continue that trend today and uh, keep catching some big fish out of this pond. This grass actually goes down in the water as well. We've had a lot of rain the last couple of days. And uh, this grass, like I don't know if you can tell down here, it is legit in the water. So I'd be curious to see if some of these bass are pushed up super shallow on this bank. Let's go ahead and start hunting and see if we can catch us some big ones. I don't recall if that fountain was working last time. I can't remember. I don't know. Maybe it was. We got a big storm rolling in too, guys. It would not surprise me if we start getting rained out in the next 15 minutes. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. I'd be surprised if there's not a fish in that. So good. Looks like there's a boil right there to the right slightly. Looks so good, guys. Patiently waiting for this bite. I know the fish are all out of whack right now with how the weather's been. But I know we can get some good frog bites here. We just gotta keep, keep trying and put our head down, keep casting. We'll get the bites that we want. I believe in it. Just looks so dang good.
Here comes the rain. All right, let's hit a little regame. Starting to rain right now. Hoping we don't have a big storm about to roll in. That's what it's supposed to be like. So let's get in the car real quick, relocate, and uh, make sure that we can fish before it starts pouring. Another lucky penny. It's like the fourth one this week. I don't know if you guys remember last time, but there was actually an island right here, and we actually walked out on it. So the water has got up a little higher than it was a couple months back. Definitely higher than it was before. It's like a little bush that's planted right out there in the middle. It looks so good. We got this big storm pushing in. It's about to start pouring. We're gonna fight through it as long as we can. Boys, we ran back here on the other side of the pond. I got my kicking combo with the chatter donk on. I know we've been fishing frogs, but I want to try something different. The rain just picked up. It's getting a little nasty out here. But maybe these fish will bite really good. So let's throw this chatter donk around and see if we can get some bites. That frog, I couldn't get anything to commit on right now. Maybe just throwing a standard moving bait to get these bass to bite. That rain's cold, boys. There we go. We're on already. Second cast. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. In the rain, second cast on the chatter donk. We threw that frog around for half an hour. Couldn't get nothing. We're already on board pretty quick. Not a big one at all. Really small, but we'll take that. Knowing the conditions are bad. Thank you for biting, buddy. Get back in there that's a good sign heck yeah guys looks like the fish are still biting we just got to throw something different something either moving in the middle of the water column to the bottom or possibly a bottom bait they're just not wanting to come up for that top water right now which is surprising usually in the rain you'll you'll end up catching some good ones on top Guys, that was a crazy bite. Oh my gosh. Maybe these fish are getting fired up. Pulled my whole fluke down. Oh, there we go. Oh, that feels like a nice one, guys. Oh yeah. Let's go, boys. Storm rolling in. That ain't stopping us. We got two fish pretty quick on this chatter dunk. This might be hot. Seems like they're biting pretty good. Not big, but not small. That's a good two, two pounder right there. Very skinny, fat head. Wow, he hammered that right off the edge of that grass. Beautiful little two pound bass right there. Thank you, baby, for biting. We're getting bigger. Caught a one pounder, threw it back in and caught this beautiful one. Thank you, baby. Let's go, boys, let's go. Listen, I'll tell you, not the most ideal conditions, but we're fighting and we're getting bites that's what's important here we need to go get to a protected area oh look at that huge boil oh my gosh that was a massive boil seems like the bass are biting pretty good i mean at least that we had a couple bites of that quick i thought i just had a bite right there that scared me so that boil was massive there's some monster fish in here guys like i said my dad caught his pv bass out of here so they live here we just gotta keep casting it might not be as healthy as they used to be just because of the water being so low and probably not much bait for them to eat but there's still some nice fish in here there we go yes yes fish number three since the storm started with the chatter donk not big at all but we'll take them fighting through this rain and they're freaking biting he bit it like that second one man i it, the bait hit the bank and he just had it thank you baby 
There we go. Gosh, it's just coming down hard now. Keep on going. Keep on pushing. This spot over here, we're under a tree, a little more protected. going to cut off this frog real quick one thing that is really good in the rain is a buzz bait and i don't have a buzz bait with me but what i do have is this mock patroller if you guys wanted to get a discount on any of the mock baits i'll pop up my uh, discount code on the screen i got the link down below we're gonna tie on this patroller should be a very good bait right here in the rain and maybe some of these fish are more off the bank i can work this a lot better off the bank than i can this pop and pickle just because this is, I'm standardly gonna throw this pretty shallow. So let's give this a shot. The one thing that I don't like about this patroller right now is I kinda gotta keep my rod tip high. And it's thundering and lightning right now. And I, oh, oh. Oh gosh, nice. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. That fish had me on a mess there. First fish on the patroller. Probably about five cast in. Already got one on the dang patroller. Not big, but we'll take them. It's got a thick little body compared to those other ones. A lot of those other fish were a little smaller, but thank you, buddy. Thanks for the nibble. There we go. Yeah, what I was getting back to is don't like keeping my rod tip high right now you know what i mean but if we make short cast we don't really have to do that it's just if we beam it it's kicking combo beams boys and we beam it on the other side of the pond we got to keep that rod tip pretty high this rain's starting to come down a good bit too it's getting a little crazier all right guys we came out to a different pond still got the mock controller on the old kicking combo i want to see what we can get going here still raining not as hard as it was earlier but still raining i don't think we can get some bass on this top water right now hopefully some big ones that's the game plan right here last time i came out here guys ended up missing two really good fish hope we can get a couple of them to bite right now get some revenge on these bass that didn't let me catch them last time That bass went completely airborne. Oh my gosh. That freaking bass, guys, went complete airborne on that mock controller. And that is what we're looking for. Let's go, baby. That is what we're talking about, boys. That's an easy three pounder right there. Oh man. She didn't decide to eat it right until we were getting it up on the bank too. That was such a cool bite. That is what we live for. And I know we're getting wet out here today, but that's what it's about. And we made it happen. Freaking nice fish right there. Let's see if we can catch some more. That's a great sign. Let's freaking go, boys. Oh my gosh. I knew I'd get my payback on these fish, guys. Last time I came out, I missed two good ones and I was upset about it. And uh, that makes up for it right there. <laughs> out here in the rain and a crazy blow up. That makes up for everything. All right, let's go on to the next pond over. I want you guys to look at something too. It's been raining, the water's so dang high. It's above the grass, kind of like how it was at that last pond. Oh, 
I'm about to say it looks so good and I got freaking destroyed. Right here, grass in this little pocket. He might hit it again here. Come on. Gosh, that was a crazy bite. I don't think he was big, but that was just insane. This is actually where Tara caught her PV right here. Had a freaking almost seven pounder come up and eat at top water. About right where my top water's at now. The top water bites have been insane. I can only imagine how he's gonna hit it if he hits this thing. Only had two bites at these ponds, but they were they were intense for sure. Not a bad one, boys. Not a bad one. Came up, slurped that dang patroller down. Look at that. Nice little pound and a halfer. Look at that, boys. First fish in this pond. You know, we had that initial bite at the beginning. And uh, he just came out there in the middle and smoked that thing. The rain's starting to slow down a little bit. It's starting to get a little nice outside. Maybe that's a good little sign. Thank you, buddy. First fish in this pond. Thank you for biting. Beautiful. There he goes. All right, guys, we're starting somewhere, man. Two fish since we left the old drain pond. And we're gonna see if we can keep on adding on to this. Caught one out there. He just came up and slipped that dang top water down. Let's see if we can get us another one. Yeah, this rain finally stopped. Oh, it feels good, man, to be in some decent weather for a minute. Hopefully it stays like this. Fish didn't come all the way out of the water like those last two bites, but it's still a nice little blow up. Oh, did you guys see that? He literally kissed it. Right when it landed, he just kind of kissed it. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, man. That fish literally just put his nose on it. Nothing more. There's a huge boil behind me. I mean, a massive, massive boil. Oh my God, he's still behind me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude. Dude, is he under it? Oh my gosh. Dude, it literally had waves that I was going over. That boil was so crazy that it literally had waves it was like I was working this thing in the freaking ocean, dude. What in the world just happened? Every ounce of me is like, that had to have been a carp, but why was he chasing it? Carp are so skittish. They don't, they don't chase like that. That is insane, guys. I don't know if it was a bass. I mean, it could have been a carp, but that is weird for a carp to do. I don't see a carp like chasing the top water and getting behind it but the fish was so big that it was causing waves and i was just going over it with my top water <laughs> guys i don't know about that man that was something oh my gosh i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting a little too antsy here let's slow down there's boils everywhere that fish just hit me i don't think that one was big what in the world's happening right now No, that was a good one, man. I've been watching my top water the whole time. I've been working it. That's the one time I look down and I get freaking slammed. That seemed like a pretty good fish. Dang, man, that's unfortunate. That was a nice little blow up too. Maybe we can get another one back in here. We had one on our first cast. It's gotta be more fish. Big boil, big boil. Oh, that was a monster. That was a monster. That was a monster and he came off somehow. No. 
No, no, no. And I stuck him too, guys. I don't think he'll hit again. That's unfortunate. Dang it, man. Oh. I don't know what is up with me missing fish recently, guys, but I swear it comes at the worst times. Two in a row we just lost when we should have had them both. That's unfortunate. Maybe that's one that we can always come back for, you know, later on, maybe for a different video. I'll, I doubt he's going to bite again. He would have ate, but it's all good, though. We'll keep our positivity up and keep cranking away. Another good one that just came off. I couldn't even move that fish, bro. What is going on? I'm trying to understand what's happening here because this is like the fourth time it's happened in the last two times I came out. The hooks are amazing on this bait. Like they really are. As sharp as can be. I don't know if you guys remember that episode last year when Fletcher yanked it out of a tree and it just went right in my leg. Like these hooks are sharper than any baits I throw. Got premium hooks on there and I just can't get these these fish pinned. I don't know if they're just eating it weird. I will say the last two bites, that one and the one before that I both thought were really good fish. They, they didn't really come up and just destroy it and eat it. You know, they're kind of just sort, like just kind of bit at it. And I think that's what happened. It, what it felt like there is that I only had one out of the three on my treble hook hook them. Oh my gosh, he's barely hooked. Yeah, that's how they're eating it. Oh my gosh, the knife pound. Don't come off, baby. Oh my gosh, like a four pounder. I, I give him three and a half. He's fat as can be. Holy cow. This is why they're coming off, guys. It ain't that I'm doing something wrong. Look at how he is barely hooked. I mean, just like a hair, a little sliver of skin. Wow, almost a four pounder. That's easy, three and a half. Let's freaking go, boys. Look at that thing. Came up and slurped it barely. Barely had it on the edge of his chin. And uh, what sucks is we probably would have had multiple fish that are big in the last couple minutes if they're not eating it like that. But uh, at least he got it and we got him in. Thank you, baby. Wow. Gosh, I'm pumped up, guys. <laughs> I'm pumped up. The bites that we're getting in here are freaking good ones. We caught two out of this pond. They were both over three pounds. Missed that other one. I bet you it's the same way. Between three and four pounds. That's what he felt like, at least. I'll take three and four pounders all day long. How are you? <laughs> yeah. What's up? Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. This is our kicking her back. Yeah, what's up, man? Awesome. How are you? What's your name? Mason, what's Mason, your name? Mason Noah, nice to meet you. What's Mason. up? How are you? Awesome. What's up, buddy? What's up? How are you? We were just coming home and um Miles goes, That's the kick in the basket. And I was like, <laughs> I'm sure it's not. And he goes, We gotta go see. So we literally parked the car, <laughs> ran over there. And then I was like, where did he go? That's awesome. Yeah, I caught a couple. Really? Yeah, a couple like three three founders. Come here real quick. I might have some baits. I wish I had some rods with me. How long have you guys been watching? Um, two years ago. Two years. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I caught it from this one. Yeah, whatever one you guys want. That one catches some big They all catch big ones. Are you on YouTube? Very blessed. Yeah. You want to say hey to it? Hi. Awesome. You awesome. Guys. Thank, Thank you. So you. Nice. I appreciate it. Awesome it. to meet you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you all. Definitely have some um, fans. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, guys, just met some uh, supporters of the channel. I appreciate everybody. And while, while we're at it, you know, I appreciate everybody watching the videos. Thank you guys so much, first of all. But yeah, I just met a group of uh, kids and, and their mom. Their mom was just as excited as they were. It's That's funny. But um, that's so cool just meeting you guys. And I would just like to say, you know, everybody watching, even though that y'all aren't here with me right now, I'd just like to say thanks for the support. And, you know, to know that I've been doing this, been making fishing videos for 12 years, been doing kicking their bass for 10. It's just a blessing to uh, be able to do this. And it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So I really appreciate that. But uh, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna finish off at this pond right here and go to a different one. I haven't really had any bites in here, but uh, let's keep on moving, guys. See what else we can get. All right, guys, out at another pond. Another pond, another journey, and another big bass, hopefully. Let's see what we can do here. Hoping we can get another couple fish on top water. Hopefully a big one. Last time I came out here, I missed a couple really nice ones. So I'm back for some, some revenge here, boys. There we go. Oh, he came off? No. He ate it right away, dude. I'm talking the instant I started cranking that thing. What is going on? To be honest, I did that one to myself. I hooked said it like it was a dang frog. Well, lesson learned by Noah. I just messed up. I've been doing this forever and I still mess up sometimes. I hook set up, okay? On anything with treble hooks, you just want to lean to the side. You don't want to do nothing crazy. If they bite it, just lean. And I hooked set up and therefore I pulled it right out of his mouth. Let's walk over there though. See if we can get a better cast and not be casting way across the pond here. Oh my gosh. There we go. Not a big one, but he destroyed it. Not a big one. But I can tell you one thing. Look at this bass. You guys see all the colors and how it's green tones a little darker and he's got like this blue all over him what causes that are these bass will get way up in this slop way up in this grass and they're not sticking in the sun a lot and pretty much what happens when they're up in that grass a ton is the bass's skin tone will pretty much change and that bass is just beautiful look at how sparkly he is it's like a bluish green tint but that's what happens when those bass are living in this grass right here there he goes That was a nice little bite right after that last fish, man. That's probably the, I think that was the next cast. These fish are biting, man. It's got to commit. Oh yeah, boiler right there in that corner. Come on now. Come on now. Just like that. Not a big one. A little tiny guy. Not a big one, just a small one, but we'll take him. We appreciate all the bites. He is fat as can be. This fish had some size onto him, like some just length to him. This fish would be a brute, man. Thank you for biting, buddy. That was fun.